on everybody and welcome back to the channel fragrance journey hopefully everybody's having a blessed day hopefully everybody's having a blessed blessed weekend has a blessed weekend coming up today i'm gonna be coming at y'all with a video of my top five fragrances from the house of rosendo mateo or mateo <clears throat> i need to really figure out their pronunciation because i've been saying mateo so these are my top five fragrances i do have one two oh three four five oh six number seven from the new collection we do have 2010 they've got i think three more fragrances in that collection 2010 was the one i really enjoyed the most so that's the one that i added to the collection today i'll be talking about my top five hold on let me get a couple of these bottles out the way one, two, or three didn't make the cut. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is one that I recently picked up. Let me wipe this cap off this bottle. So the bottle don't look as fingerprinty. Is number six. This one is Jasmine, Sandalwood, and the Oriental Musk. One thing you'll notice with the House of Rosendo Mateo is they do present a lot of fragrances with musk in them. They do feel very sensual. They are very aromatic, very clean and very classy. That's what I like about them. It's something that I can put on, pretty much any one of these I can put on at any time of the year. But they're all basically can work year round. Sometimes I like to wear floral fragrances in the winter time. So this is definitely one that I really enjoy. Let me spray a little bit on. I already put some on my arm. But this jasmine in here is very beautiful. It's light, it's airy. This comes out very clean, somewhat classy. Very aromatic. Slight hints of greenness. A bit of woodiness in the background also. So this one is a floral, well, I guess a woody floral. But I think the florals really lead the way with some citruses on the top. But this one just smells really, really good. It's very, um, how would you say, transparent. It's not very thick or clawing or anything. It's very clean, classy, and transparent. That's number five. Let's go with number four. Let's go with the newer release from the house. And this is one that I really liked. And this is from the Old Journey. Let me pull the notes up on this right quick. This is from the, let me see what collection. That's the Olfactive Journeys collection. This one is 2010. This is another recent pickup of mine. This one is Oriental Heritage Traditional. This one is very resinous, spicy, um, balsamic, definitely made for the winter time. This one really caught my attention and this is one, you know, that I really enjoy. When they really do something resinous and we've got a couple more coming up that are going to be down that line or that style of fragrance or that style of composition. This one is really beautiful. I'm going to spray a little bit right here. Yeah, it opens up just very spicy, very resinous somewhat ambery thick clawing heavy spicy just the resins man it's just so resinous and balsamic perfect for the winter time perfect for the winter time but again i think this can be pulled off in the summer and fall also i do think it will shine better in the colder weathers but i think that one's just really amazing Beautiful creation. Again, Rosendo Mateo did pass away, so his son has taken over as the lead perfumer for the house, and he's doing an amazing job. Uh, no letdown so far from what I've smelled, so they're continuing the great work that Rosendo was doing when he was alive. And it's just, the new creations are really beautiful. And speaking of times in Rosendo's life. So number four was 2010. Let's go with number three. Number three is also a recent pickup from the house. Let me get the notes up on this one. And these are from the first collection. And this was the one that I was, well, I was missing six and seven. And I've been a big fan of this house for a while, so it's nothing new. This one is Patchouli, Oud, and Vanilla. And this is number seven. Mm. Look at the color of that juice in there. 
Look at the color of that juice, how dark it is. Compared to, I don't, know if the, I don't know if you can really see that from the camera, but the difference in the juice color, you can just see it. So dark. And I imagine if this one was in a, well, you can't really see because the gold on the bottle, but I bet that one would be kind of dark also. Let's spray some of this number seven on. I was really shocked at this one because I'm a big fan of patchouli and uh, this one does not let down. Opens with a very beautiful, boozy, somewhat chocolatey vanilla. I mean, patchouli. Surrounded by some sweetness from vanilla. Definitely get the woody nuances nuances from the oud in the background. Very woody. It's not an animalic skank oud to me. But the patchouli in here is incredible. It almost comes off similar to psychedelic, but not as chocolatey. But that, van that patchouli does have that very harsh boozy vibe to it very scratchy but this one just smells amazing if you're a patchouli lover i definitely suggest you get your nose on this one the patchouli is just oh my goodness i'm a big fan of patchouli so i really enjoy this one so 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 good the next one up is one that I don't hear many people talk about, and I know most people are not really fans of oud. And when the oud gets a little skanky, they do tend to uh, not gravitate towards it. And this is one of my favorites from the house. I will say this is my number one, but this is gonna be my number two. And this is number four. And this one is saffron, oud, and vanilla. This one is so good. I should wear this one a lot more than I do. This one is amazing. Trying to see where I got somewhere to spray. My wife's going to be like, what all you got on? As soon as you spray that, you get that skanky oud. Surrounded by some spices. I was so shocked when I first smelled this fragrance because I didn't expect this house to be able to create something like this. This is what I really enjoy. I love oud. I love skanky, animalic type perfumes. I'm starting to gravitate towards other type of compositions also. More citrus and different type of composition but in my heart i love animalic oud fragrances and this one just is a beautiful anim well, it's not animalic but it's a very skanky oud it's got to be like cambodian oud or something let me see let me see if i can find the uh find out what kind of notes it's got in it doesn't say what kind of oud it is but smelling it, it does come off maybe cambodian or maybe some cambodian oud but it's beautiful. Got hints of sweetness, got some floral, floral nuances to it also, but it's definitely surround, it's definitely a backbone of skank oud surrounded by many different notes. I don't get a lot of sweetness from the vanilla. It is does come off kind of creamy though. But I definitely get the saffron and the oud is humongous in this one. And the last one up is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I actually need to get another bottle of this. This is some that I wore to my, I want to say my play brother's funeral. And I already enjoyed the fragrance before then, but this is one that he really liked. And uh, I wore it to his funeral. I had to speak at his funeral. So I'll never forget this fragrance. One of my favorite fragrances of all time. I've heard many people talk about it. It's just beautiful. Some about it just really attracts people to you and people just love the way it smells. This one is number five, and this is just a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece of a fragrance. I just, not much more I can say about that. All right, hold on. I got stuff here where I spray a little bit of number five on. Oh man, number five. This one is Floral Amber Central Musk. Oh man. Just a central, beautiful amber surrounded by some musk, some floral notes. It's so central and sexy and just, some people say it smells synthetic. I, I would get that a little bit, but to me, it's just beautiful, the sweetness. It's almost got like a creamy vanilla nuance to it also. It's just a, and it's a beast mode fragrance. I'm talking about the bubble around you is gonna be humongous if you wear this fragrance. This one lasts on my skin, on my clothes for days. Numerous amounts of compliments. People that don't even like fragrances tell me how great I smell when I wear it. 
What is that you got on? I need to get it for my husband. What is that you got on? I need to get it for my wife. Or what is it? It's just a conversation starter. Man, if you're looking for attention or you want compliments and you want people to be like, man, you smell really good. If you're looking for that, that's not what I look for. But if you're looking for that, if you want some attention, spray about five sprays of that. And I promise you, people gonna recognize that you smell truly amazing. Those are my top five fragrances from the house of Rosendo Mateo. Mateo, Mateo, I heard it pronounced multiple different ways. I could have put these other ones in there. Uh, three, one, two, and three, but those to me are kind of on the lighter side, but they're still nice fragrances. I really like them, I'm, like them and I'm glad to have them in my collection. But those are my top five. If you can, leave me your top five fragrances from Rosendo Mateo, or maybe just your favorite fragrance from the house. If you haven't smelled the house, definitely, definitely get your nose on it. It's an amazing house. They're from Barcelona, Spain. I was born in Madrid. Definitely plan on going back to Spain to visit. And uh, I would definitely like to visit. If they got a boutique there, I would definitely like to visit their boutique. Uh, I saw they were in Cannes uh, this weekend for some kind of perfume uh, show. And that, wish I could have went to that, but it's kind of hard to fly to Cannes. <laughs> uh, but if you can't like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. If you woke up today, you're definitely winning. I'm smelling. I don't even know how, how can I hold up all these bottles? Let me see, can I hold all that? I can't, ain't no way. I'm smelling amazing, and I'm out. Peace.